Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. Still doing chores around the house. This is your week in nerddom comic books edition for the week of July the 3rd. <sighs> Not this. This isn't like a visual metaphor or anything like that, but this episode that you want. Whatever. Let's hit the intro. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On generally nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump in the news, let's hit in on the sponsor for the week. This week we're sponsored again by Mercari and by Poshmark. Uh, we are selling stuff on both Mercari and Poshmark. There's a lot of stuff up there. Pictures should be cycling on your screen right now. Uh, this is a necessary part of uh, living in this place that we are living. So we're trying to, to cull the, the clothing issue. <laughs> so check it out. Links in the description to both the Mercari and the Poshmark sites where we are selling all of our stuff. And now let's jump into the news. Oh. Starting this week out right. Oh no, I've blocked myself in. Starting this week out right, we're talking about Batman number 50. Uh, spoiler alert if you haven't read it yet because it came out just a day or two ago. Spoiler alert if you care for such things then this is your warning. And I just got really dark. We're taking trash out. Woo, fun. Um, so yeah, now that we've given proper warning, the wedding that would have been wasn't. It would seem, oh no that Selena Kyle fancies herself a hero. And her definition of a hero is somebody who makes great sacrifice. So her great sacrifice is not marrying Bruce or Batman, however you want to look at it. That being said, is she wrong? Is she wrong about two things? So she says in the, in the book that if they actually went through with the marriage, that would make Bruce happy. That would make Bruce happy. And as we know, happy Bruce means no Batman. If there's no Batman, then Gotham is gonna fall apart, as evidenced by the foreshadowing, which we didn't quite see as foreshadowing necessarily, of the Brewster Gold, uh, it was like two issues where he went to, back in time to save Bruce's parents from being killed when he went back to the present. Bruce was happy and Gotham was a shit show, to be blunt. Um, so they, yeah, there's been a few other things in the lead up to the wedding where it's been obvious foreshadowing. And... I don't know, I feel like this is a great twist. This is, they they built up to it just right. Uh, they they executed well. I, I just feel like kudos to Tim, is it Tim King? Yeah, Tim King, Mikhail Janin, and Joel Jones. Kudos to the team over on Batman right now for doing something like this, for being ballsy and doing something like this. Uh, I am, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm pleased. Next on the list is the Spider-Verse, which we mentioned once before uh, a few weeks ago. Um, Spider-Verse, we got our first teaser art for Spider-Verse. And 
we now know the creative team that's going to be handling our spider geddon rather spider geddon this is the end of the spider verse book something uh the team writer christos gage and artist jorge molina uh the story is going to be dealing with the inheritors and what's his name morlin that we got in the spider verse arc and they were in the perfect prison and as it always goes in comic books whenever you lock up an epic villain they always find a way out that's what's happened so we were right in our assumption when it's when it was spider geddon uh when all the, all we knew was the name of the arc we were right in our assumption that they're likely going to be killing off uh some of the spider-men some of the multi spider people and i don't know that could be I know the dude over at Comics and Diversity wasn't a fan of issue 800. Um, I dug it. I understand his issues with it. I understand his issues in general with the comic book, uh, the the comic book community. So I'm not I'm not anti what he has to say. I just feel like sometimes he's doing it for. Uh, just to get a rise out of people and not because he actually believes that they're as horrible as he's saying. Yes, they are pretty bad in general, but number 800 wasn't that bad. So this is going to be a new major arc in the Spider-Verse dealing with all of the spider people. And I feel like this could be an epic jump on point for people who are new to comics. Uh, it starts in October... And as we learn more, we will definitely be talking about it right here on Generally Nerdy. Next up on our list, we are going to be talking about the DC Universe app. Uh, nothing too crazy when it comes to updates for this. We've already talked about the fact that there's going to be comic books on this streaming app. It seems it's going to be a little more in depth than that. Not only are there going to be comic books, but there's also going to be a DC encyclopedia a la a wiki because fans are going to be able to add their two cents into the Wikipedia or into the encyclopedia. Um, also, they're going to be adding some social media-ish uh, elements to it in that fans are going to be able to interact going to be able to share their list in their long box. It looks like the comics side of things for this app is going to resemble, I don't know how closely, but at least in some ways resemble the Marvel Now app. And for those of you that don't know, the Marvel Now app allows you to read every Marvel comic book. It's like a $10 a month uh, charge. And you can read every comic book Marvel has ever put out up until six months ago. So anything that's newer than six months old, you can read on the Marvel Now app. Maybe it's going to be something along those lines. They haven't specifically said, though they have specifically said that the, the animated series that they're known for, so Batman, all the way back to those old school Superman cartoons, that the art style of Batman was kind of emulating, all the way that far back, we're going to be getting uh, DC animated stuff, we're going to be getting all of the DC live action movies, uh, on what kind of... on what kind of release schedule, we don't really know yet, but... But it's gonna happen. Uh, it's that's it's crazy to me. Also, the there it has been an uh, uh, update to the app in that we now know that the beta access to the app is going to be in August. So you can, I believe, you can now sign up for the beta. Um, I don't know how many slots they're going to have open for beta testing, but it is going to be an open beta. So. The fans will get to test out all the bugs. And then it goes live. Um, I believe it goes live 
shortly before the end of the year. I, I didn't catch the exact time, but just before Titans launches. So when Titans, by the time Titans launches, it will be open to everyone to purchase. And hopefully they'll have all the bugs worked out by then. And then all of the other original stuff, so Swamp Thing, Young Justice, all that stuff is going to be in, uh, is going to be starting in 2019, which we already knew. And then our last, our last bit of comic book news has to do with the Fantastic Four. We already knew they were coming back. That's not news. The news is that it's happening August 8th, which is the exact 57th anniversary of the first Fantastic Four book. So Dr. Richards and company will be turning 57 right before our eyes. Also, the alternate, uh, the, the variant cover is the proper terminology, which was drawn by uh, artist and chief creative officer for Marvel, Joe Quesada, Quesada, Quesada something. Uh, and it shows Galactus in an apparent villain role. Now, for those of you that haven't been keeping up on your Marvel, for the last little while, Galactus has been an ambivalent character. He hasn't been a villain, he hasn't been the destroyer of worlds, he's been something a little more esoteric and quasi-religious. So, with the return of the first family of comics, are we also seeing the return of Galactus the villain? But that, guys, is the end of comic books this week. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place to go get all the freebies. All the social media links are up there. The store links so you can get your nerdy swag is all up on generallynerdy.net. Or, if you want to contribute a little more directly, Patreon.com is the place to do that. Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the place. There are four tiers. The lowest tier is just $1 a month. That goes an incredible uh, long way. So please jump over, check out Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. If you're new to the channel, click the like button. Or <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you like the episode, click the like button. <clears throat> if... You're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, before we do all of the stuff, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. And that is how we vlog the news. <laughs>